Okay, so today I'm gonna change the Wi-Fi card that's in my laptop. Uh, I'm having a HP Pavilion 14H. And uh, recently, for the past three months, uh, the Wi-Fi has been acting pretty weird, and uh, I've been getting a lot of drop signals and inconsistent connectivity. So, uh, did some research and. What I found out that one of the ways is to try and change the Wi-Fi card to, and to get better performance and better connectivity. Okay, before we go ahead and install the card, uh, here are some tools that you will need. Okay, the guitar pick or something like that you can pick up in your uh, local hardware store. Uh, unfortunately, I play guitar, so I got a guitar pick. Get a mat so that uh, you can actually light onto the laptop and it won't get scratches while you're doing the work. The model of my HP is a uh, model 14AL01 ITX, but um, I understand that uh, this car is compatible with all uh, HP uh, across the across the range of the model, like Spectre. And so on, so but uh, just remember to always check again with the uh, seller to in terms of the compatibility with your laptop. Okay, so first thing we want to do now is to remove this back cover, and uh, before that, we have this uh, rubber piece here. That's a screw that's hidden underneath this rubber screw, so we want to take it out. Uh, what you can do is you just pry it off from the side. facing up so that you do not stick it on other surfaces okay. and as you can see from here there's a screw here so now we're going to go ahead and uh, unscrew, unscrew all the screws do take note that for uh, I'm not sure for other uh, models though but uh, for the uh, HP Pavilion one of the screws at the corners top here uh, slight are uh, different from the rest of the screws here so you want to make sure that you do not mix them up with the rest of the screws okay, I'll show you what I mean okay all right first screw out you can see this is um, a little bit longer I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera itself all right but anyway I'll put here for comparison One, uh, sorry, this one in terms of the screw, this one is thinner. This is a corner one here. This one is fatter, or else this one is thinner. So you don't want to mix them up because uh, if so, this one is not going to go in properly. It's not going to be able to lock the corners properly. All right. So you just want to make sure that the, the corner of the screws, both of these screws, are the fatter one. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out all the screws. Okay, now that all the screws are out, we're gonna flip the laptop over. Open up.
right. So make sure that all the clips are out. And once when you're done, we're gonna close back the laptop again. And this time we're gonna flip back over again. Okay, so this is how the inside looks like. We got our fan here, and this is uh, the heat sink. And the heat sink is actually uh, acts as a cooling, cooling uh, heat dissipation for the CPU and the graphic card, the GPU. And also we have our RAMs here, our battery, and this is our um, SSD, which is uh, our storage. Now, for the Wi-Fi card, it's usually located here. So this is our Wi-Fi card here. And as you can see from the slot here, it's not fully utilizing because it's only occupying on a, a single band with a single band connection, which is for 5G. And this is how the stock would look like. Okay, so now we're gonna Remove the uh, existing Wi-Fi card. There's a screw here so that's holding it down. So we just it's just simply by removing the screw and taking out from the tap on the slot. All right. You, you notice that the uh, the cup will lift have a slight angle that's uh, sliding up. So you just need to pull it out gently like this and you'll notice there's two uh, connected antennas here and if you look closely it says you're one and two so one is for transmitting another one is for receiving so you want to make sure that you do not get mixed up with the uh, with the wires when you're putting back into the new one and one of the ways to check it is that uh, it is already labeled on the uh, most of the antenna has a label that correlates to uh, the pin so you simply just push it out like this All right and this is how it looks like In order to put it back, it's pretty much the same as how you take it out. Remember, I was telling you about the uh, antenna, so the same here as well. The new one. Um, if you look, that's in, in the, that's one and two. One is auxiliary, two is main. So uh, it may be there's, uh, you know, every product has different description, but. As long as you go back to according to the label as one and two, then you should be good. Right. Once it's secure, you can feel that it's not coming out. Okay. Do the same as for the second one as well. Now that um We've connected the antennas. Just make sure that uh, they are properly secured in the uh, allocated slot. One way to tell which way or the direction is is um, we say we have a, a, a slot is here, but it is being separated by a smaller tab and a bigger tab. So you just have to look, correspond to the tabs here. These are the this is the longer one and this is the shorter one. This is the shorter one. This is the longer one.
So now we just need to redo the reversal by putting back the cover and we'll do another test. Okay, so since we've already changed the car, so let's, uh, let's head on and uh, check uh, the connectivity the performance. Just to show you that uh, the original car, the stock car, is only able watching.